part two for this video. Um, we've just rescued Jethro from the pram. We're going to dress Isaac. Jethro is sulking. I don't know why. He's always got some sort of mood happening, haven't you? But we love you very much. You're wearing your badge. Your badge. You're wearing it as a patch, aren't you? You're a pirate. A pirate giraffe? Yes, I know. Mummy's going to change him. So if you can stay down there and keep out of the way for a minute, okay? So as everyone... Down, down, down. Yes, everyone can see. Hop down. Good boy. Oh, all right. You sulk down there. So this is Isaac. He's my 16-inch silicone baby, full body. Beautifully sculpted by Sherry Bowden. I've named him Isaac Anthony. He does have an open mouth and, as I said, is full body. We'll try to um, fix that up there. <laughs> See, he is absolutely beautiful. Beautifully painted by Lynette Daff. Ooh, we don't know whether we're allowed to show bottoms, but as you can see, his full body, beautifully proportioned, I might add. Dingle, dangle feet. Fast asleep. What a good little boy you are. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put your nappy on. And then we can show you a little bit better. Okay. There. So, I'll just put this on top of you for a minute. Fold it a little bit up. This is the newborn size. If you actually seen the video I did quite a while now ago, that um, folding nappies. Can fold that over. Make a triangle. Turn it over. So we'll put that on. Okay, close your eyes, everyone. Your boy's got to have a bit of privacy. Haven't you? Hey? Okay, I'm just going to pull that top bit up. How'd we go? Did we do that okay? Okay, now, Mummy's just going to get some powder out of your cupboard. This is the Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. Small tin that you get from your shops for a dollar, a couple of dollars or something. Or well, they used to be a dollar. This has matting powder. It's not actually just straight Johnson's powder. Just thought I'd clear that up in case anyone said anything. Um, yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Just use one of these blushing brushes to just gently wipe it over. That way we haven't got big chunks of powder stuck anywhere, especially little grooves that a full-bodied little boy might have. So, oh, this is a good example. Um, person asked me why I fold my nappies, you know, how I do that up and under the leg and bring it up. Well, this is a fine example of why I do it because when you do it normally, the nappy comes all the way down the leg. And of course, the clothing that we buy doesn't cater for that, especially if you've got a reborn baby with um, three quarter limbs, which means, you know, the, the body comes down to about here or so and you've got the rest of the leg so that's why I tuck it under I think it looks nicer you've got to look tidy don't you okay so we've had Isaac a couple of years now which is quite surprising I still haven't got his hair done I will eventually get it done won't we okay so that's up a bit high whoops we, speaking of silicones, we actually gave your sister, Angelique, a coat of paint, a coat of silicone, I should say, yesterday. Uh, she's also in one of my previous videos. My full body silicone girl, Angelique, is the Kira Sculpt by Tatiana Burden. Um, she's got her head all finished um, and... She's got a beautiful head of hair rooted. Um, that will do. Now we're looking kind of cute. We've got to get some singlets and fix them up because they're all too big, aren't they? So, yes, she will be hopefully in the nursery. 
we're not going to say when because anyone knows me knows I don't rush these things I mean it's for myself so it's there's no rush for anything isn't that right mister so we actually got little onesies that fit which is great that um, they do sell tiny clothing in best and less I think we talked about it where to get them previously with Liliana's clothes um, but they don't have singlets they do have tiny but I actually use the tiny sizing on my newborn babies which is a bit silly but anyway as, as anyone would remember Rosalie she was newborn size and she actually wore the the tiny which is five zeros in best and less so okay what do I big clips Good job. There we go. Now we got our little onesie on. Whoops. We can't see you properly, can we? Now, this is the outfit I brought, or he brought home with him when I bought him. I've always got to have a little look before I can put it on because I never know which way it goes. But it's a lovely blue knitted set. Being this size, we don't find too many really good outfits if you know what I mean so we put that there there we go so do the buttons this is the one only Gigi fixed up for you isn't it hey so yeah, it would be funny if I oh yeah I'm probably putting it on wrong hey but anyway we're gonna just put it on and see You're going to have to gain a little bit of weight, mister. Oh, one button. Look at the size of these buttons and I'm struggling with these. Goodness me. Mind you, in my defence, I can't feel them properly. There! Okay. Mommy should get a little um, Peter Rabbit patch or something rather than put on the middle. That would look really cute, wouldn't it? Huh? Aren't you so cute? Now, do we need socks? Do we need socks, little man? <laughs> we'll just have a look because his drawer's just down the bottom here. He's got a whole drawer all to himself. We might put some beadies on. I won't be able to get them the proper colour. No! That's the wrong blue. But you know what? That doesn't matter, does it? So... I am just here. I do apologise. Should have done like one that we paired earlier sort of thing. Maybe I should just put white socks on. Whoops. It's just me wrecking stuff. It's okay. Hmm. They're too big. Okay. Blue ones it is. Oh. Oh. Too old for this stuff. Okay, we're going to put these blue booties on because I think it'd look better if you put your little foot in. And you know what? I don't think we're going to get these on your feet. They're too tight across the top here. Oh no. Okay. Shall I have a second? I think these ones might be too big. Oh my goodness, we're not doing well, are we? I'm gonna have to thread some ribbon in these. They did come with. Oh, you look like a little elf. They did come just like that. But I don't think he's gonna keep it on his feet, are you? Hmm? Okay, next. Right. We're going with these socks after all that. Aren't they? There we go. Let's fold them down. Do you look at that? They're 
feet. Your feet are so big. They just make ill-fitting socks. Not that I can feel it, but they don't fit properly. It's not good, is it, Bubba? So, there we go. I don't think we'll put a hat on because it's supposed to warm up a little bit today and we know it's getting hot. So here's Isaac Anthony, all dressed. His little knitted outfit. Fast asleep. Okay, so I thought I would also show you this. This heaps of sales on at the moment, but I haven't been very lucky in getting what I want in my size, my size, my baby sizes. I'm not going to find anything for me in the baby wear, I can tell you. But Tabitha is a bigger girl, but she wears triple zero, and we actually came across this little outfit. It's a double O, but I think it's going to fit her because it's. A firm style mm, fire, mm, I'm not sure what I mean it's a fitted outfit there we go so as you can see we've got Eeyore on there it's a apricotty pink color it was $16 and where'd the tag go oh it's gone well it was $16 I don't recall how much it was now, but it was on sale. So I thought, okay, Tabitha's got a little outfit with matching pants. We've got Tigger and Eeyore matching colours. It wasn't $16 anyway. I think it was like 8 or something. So that was really good. And obviously now's the time to buy your baby's Christmas outfits for the coming Christmas. This outfit was, I'm pretty sure, $20. A lot of people would have seen this knitted little suit. In best and less you're never gonna guess how much I've got it for come on guess no come on you you it was two dollars ninety eight how crazy is that not that you'd be able to see that the right way around of course but but I thought oh that's lovely I haven't and hard of getting this for Benjamin this Christmas just gone because I didn't want to pay the money and then I saw them and I thought oh, I gotta get that Got to get that. But we actually went in shopping because um, I'm doing a box swap with Annie Suzanne. And I went looking for stuff. Did you hear Annie Suzanne's name? Hang on. How about we put this on? You can see. People can see you properly. Put it on this eye. Okay. I don't know how the heck you got this on. But anyway. So. You say hello to Annie Suzanne. Oh, you're giving kisses to the top of the phone. Okay. All right, just stay here for a minute. Yeah, so um, what we're doing is we set an amount. We were supposed to stick to somebody named Suzanne, but we set an amount and we just went and bought things for each other's babies. And she's finished hers, of course, already, and um, I haven't as yet. So what I'll do is I will do a recording of me opening it, the one that I get from Suzanne, and she beat me to it, of course, but I haven't finished mine yet, and I've got to stand it off. So what I'll do is I'll um, have everything packed up and show you what it looks like, and if anyone's interested in doing it, um, comment down below um, and organize what you want whether you've got certain tastes or certain sizing for babies and things but it's quite fun because I absolutely love 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 shopping for baby clothes hence why I've got a huge duchess down here big cupboard over there one drawer for this little man and I'm saying the drawer would be a good 30 centimeters deep and just over a meter long um, that's just Isaac stuff and then, of course, in my bedroom, I have a vintage duchess. That's just newborn baby girl clothes. That was That's Rosalie's clothes. In the spare room, I've got another huge cupboard where I keep all my bunny rugs. And Tabitha's dresses, we've got a rack there to hang her clothes on. And we have another duchess with five drawers in. That's got Tabitha's clothes. And also Liliana's got one drawer out of all that. And we've got baby shoes and oh my husband has no idea 
that I've got baby clothes in the Duchess in my bedroom. No idea. And I've had them there for years. So please don't tell him. We'll keep it our secret, won't we? Hey? Are you just looking at your brother? Hey? You love him, don't you? Whoop, whoop. Down, 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 down. Hang on. Good boy. Stay there. So, yeah, we've been shopping and we didn't come away with too much, actually, which is good because we saved money, I guess. But always on the lookout for Peter Rabbit. So if anyone knows where I can purchase things uh, or has anything that they're willing to sell, then please give me a yell. It's just not much fun when you can't find what you want. Isn't that right? Okay, so on that note, we're going to go, we're going to shift this pram so no one can get in it, and I will talk to you all soon. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, please do say. Many more friends would be wonderful. Uh, leave comments down below if you want. <laughs> and next time, we hope to... What be Liliana's turn again? Yes, it would be. Yeah, we will change Liliana and have a little chat then. There's one subject that um, I'd like to address but we'll leave that for next time. So whatever you're doing today, I hope it's a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Never stop smiling. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Come here. Oh, no, no, no.